What is going on guys? Did it versus all gaming with my review of not to know Taizai or Seven Deadly Sins episode seven and the episode it was actually pretty good. It was rather simple because the episode the episode itself it could, it could break up into three major key points, but we did get some some good story progression and of course now we're like finally finally getting a sneak peek into Ban's past because obviously something happened with that girl that that he was with and that right there is why King now has like some kind of grudge against him because that right there you know was his sin which is why I did like bring it up so, so you could tell right away that, 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 that there are definitely going to be some feels you know like in future episodes especially when that right there gets revealed which could be the, which could be ne next week I'm not really sure but we'll, we'll see but the episode itself it, it did start off where, where we're in bands past and, and he does look you know like quite younger than how he looks now and we see that like he was in some kind of forest he was like climbing, you know, up some tree, and so apparently there there found there's just a fountain of youth, and I believe like one lick will, will give you ten years, and a swallow will like give you a hundred years. But if you drink from that cup that was there, then you will actually get you know like uh, immortal life, and that right there, you know, is what Bam was like after for, and we see now that what when, when he when he does you know climb the tree, and we do see this cup, he was surprised that like there, there was no one. Guarding it, but then we have this like very young looking girl, and we see that easily she actually, you know, repels a uh, ban away, and that right there was awesome. And so, we see now the first time you know what happened, and 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 uh, he, he got repelled off. We see now that Bam right there was dreaming, and now you know, like he actually woke up from that. And so, we see now that you know, like once he was awake and he went down and he went down to uh, join the others, we have uh, Elizabeth who, 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 who are waking up, and Meteodos. But like actually sleeping in the uh, same bed as her, but we see now that he he, he was all tied up, and that right there was because of Hawk. And to me, that right there was hilarious because obviously, if Miodas was not tied up, then there's no telling what he would do. Especially you know with Elizabeth, especially with Elizabeth right there, and you know with like her being weak and so gullible to everything, I'm pretty sure Miodas would have some fun with her. But now we see that that they were all eating, and I I, I can't believe that Elizabeth will. Like still eat meat meat adults food even though it's so horrible she was like still eating it so that right there is crazy and and we, and we do learn that like Ben here you know like later on he is actually a good cook and, and so and so we see now that, that that at first he actually refused to eat uh he actually did refuse to eat, you know, Miodas food. But of course he would like drink the booze though, you know, he he would, like drink the alcohol they had in the bar. But now we see that, that they plan on going to the Cowboy of the Dead, of course, you know, to see King, who, who's supposedly dead. And then we have Elizabeth, who was, like, rather curious about how King was. And so we see, like, in a flashback, King here, this guy was, like, this, this guy was, like, definitely fat. And we see now that he was, like, definitely sensitive because there was, like, this one scene where we had Ben here. He had went around and stole all of these stuffed animals you know, from, from all these children. And that right there broke King's heart. But when Ben went to sleep, King here, he did a very nice thing. And he actually returned every single, every single stuffed animal. So that right there was nice to him. Like, you you would never think that, like, King here was with the same person that we saw in the episode. Especially Especially after the way he attacked Ban, because that right there was like definitely ruthless. But we see now eventually they they, they do arrive at the uh, at the capital of the dead, and it's like the very very rundown village. Like most of these homes are actually pretty banged up. But you know, and, and surprisingly, we did not see a single person as well. The only people that we saw were like these two children, which like Ban kind of made friends with, because because uh, Meteorados. He actually gave Ben and uh, and and Ian, you know, two jobs, and Ben here was asked was asked to be a cook, but he snuck away from that, and while he like walking in the village, he 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 came across this girl that had collapsed, and so when he like tended to this girl, we we have her brother coming out, and of course he thought that you know that Ben being a stranger, that like he he was up to no good, but Ben here kind of like messed with the kid. And, and we see now that, that the guy had this uh, pitchfork, I believe it's called, and he actually, you know, like, attacked him with it. And so, of course, now, you know, the, uh, the kid feel bad because his sister, whose name was, like, Ellen, uh, we we see now that, like, she had told her brother the truth. And so, so of course, the kid, you know, felt bad for it. 
And so, and so when the keeper like trying to apologize or say how, uh, say how he can atone for their sin, we have a uh, ban here saying that a sin is one like a, like a true sin is one that like you can never atone for. And so then we have King looking much younger, come out of nowhere and, and like stepping stepping right in the back. No, no, my bad. He had his down right through the chest and his spirit came out of his back. And so we see now that like King here was, was, was like acting all chill and stuff. And and so we see now that like that uh, that King definitely holds some kind of grudge against Ben. But then that right there is tied back to the flashback. Because we see now that even though uh what's the name? Uh, uh, Elaine, even though she was like always propelling, you know, Ben off the tree, he but he would like he he would somehow land, you know, like safely. And that right there what will allow him to like climb up again. And so eventually after a few times, uh Ben here got got tired of it and like told her, you know, to knock it off. And and she like and she was she was acting like she she could say, say say the same thing to him, but now we see Ben get kind of serious as he pulled out some kind of weapon, and so uh so uh Elaine here she thought that like maybe Ben would like try to kill her, but no Ben played it smart. I will give him that because like rather rather than rather than like attacking her, he actually stole her drink. I mean not, well not not her drink obviously, but he stole the uh, Fountain of Youth cup, and that right there was like smart on his part. But luckily, you know, Elaine, she could she acted, you know, very quickly and she used all the branches to like to stop him so that he couldn't drink it. And so now we see like she 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 was, she was trying to explain the importance of the fountain because if he drank it, then like all these trees then then they'll then well not, well, you know, the, the the entire forest it'll die if he drinks it. And so Bam was like telling her that that it, he'll give up. And of course, like she thought that uh, he was lying, but she can read minds. And when she read his, she found out he was telling the truth. So Ben here was like actually keeping his word and not lying to her. And that right there shocked her because I'm, I'm pretty sure people have always like lied to her whenever they came here. But Ben probably was probably the first person that was actually you know honest with her. And that right there shocked her. And we do see that that because of that. You know, those two start start bonding some, and they became friends. And later on, you know, we we, we have our question questioning him about you know why why he wants to why why he wants to cup for you know for eternal life because you know like what what if uh, nothing good happens? But obviously, you know, like something very bad happens, especially you know when like King was talking, because we do see that uh, at some point El uh, Elaine here will be covered in blood. We we actually we like right now we have no idea what's going to happen. But this fight between Ben and King, I'm not really sure if he, if he would call that a fight, like more, more like, a, like like a quick scuffle, I guess, because Ben here was like hardly able to fight. But King here did bring out one technique, I believe, call it like like a something Bumblebee, where where, where his spirit could like move, you know, like very very quickly, and that right there was awesome. I will definitely give credit on that because that move, it, it was pretty epic. But we see now that right, right, right before Ben can like do some kind of attack because we saw King looking like rather worried. We have a uh, Meteor Dodge. He has, he has to came out of nowhere and like and hit Ben over here with a cup, and pretty much and pretty much you like getting angry at him for like skipping out on work, and 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 so that so that that right there you know uh, led to Meteor Dodge and Diane because they also came along. And that right there, you know, led them to seeing that that right there was King. And once again, Ben here, he had this like hilarious reaction because, you know, to him, there was no way that was King, but it actually was. We just have no idea how, we are just, we just have no, no idea how he went from being, you know, like, like overweight to being, you know, like rather small and kid like. But we do see that when I am like talking to him, he actually ran off. And and so we see now that 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 that's the reason why he ran off is because he was like actually you know like pretty shy around her and that right there was interesting because we see now that like he was so cold and ruthless toward Ben because he had this grudge and yet in an instant that that right there went away he became you know like 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 so shy and docile like guess you know around Diane but we do see now that uh. That the band here, he had made this food for these kids, and so we see Hulk, like like Hulk was like literally drooling from the mouth because he had wanted to eat that food so badly. Because at first, you know, I, I remember at the beginning of the episode, he was like doubting, you know, Ben's cooking skills, 
And so we see now that that he a quick he quickly came to regret that. But now we see that that these kids they did have some info, you know, about the uh, capital of the dead because that region is not a place you can uh, just go to. You actually have to like share memory with like somebody of the dead to get there. And so we see now that you know that right there, you know, Ben knew what that meant, and we see that you know he 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 went to like this uh he he went to this. this he went to this like a uh, deserted land. He he, he like thinking about his memories, and so once again we have like we have like another one with uh, with, uh, with 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 him in the lane, and that right there you know triggered an opening toward the capital of the dead. If we have these uh the, the flowers appearing out of nowhere, and so we see now that uh, Diane Elizabeth you know everybody they they had like joined it like they they, they had all joined up. And we see that, like all these all these like fire petals, they have went into the air. And so now they made like the flowery tornado kind of thing. And we have King rushing in there, but it but it pretty much, you know, transported them into the capital of the dead, which like seems like some kind of ruins place. But I but but we uh, do see like all the crystals everywhere. So that right there was interesting. And with like King there now, hit hey, whoa, whoa, like mainly Ben, he he spots Elaine because she was the one or his uh, memories of her, they they were the ones that like took him there and so of course when he sees her you know he'll go right after her and we see now that like king like for some reason he will not let ban go and and even you know back, back in the old days he would like still follow him and, and so because of that you know like we, we have we have both of them chasing after elaine and that right there no like actually we, we go back to those kids and we see now like 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 some kind of weird girl appears behind them because she, she also saw what happens and so now i'm pretty sure she also you you know like want to figure out some way to get there because obviously this girl i would imagine that like because of the armor she she might be, she might be working with uh gale thunder so 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 she'll probably be our next you know like knight or villain i guess whatever you want to call her but the episode itself it was good you know band flashback i definitely like where it's going and of course now we also did get some pretty good you know progression with, with, with the story as well and so for that i'm going to get the episode probably a 7.5 out of 10 but of course, I would love to, get, I would love to get, 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 get your guys' thoughts on this. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe because it, because it really helps me out. And you guys take it easy. And I will see you all next time.